We're at Madison with Madison Blue Streaks, Peyton Berman. We to to the rock a little bit today with James Poe, uh, going to the sideline in the scrimmage against Harvey. Your offense looked really good today. You were able to move the move the ball on the ground and through the air. What did you like from this Blue Streak offense tonight? You know, I liked I liked everything. I liked how we were able to air that thing out too. You know, not only run but we're figuring our passing out. Not known for that, but we're coming. You know, so let's go. You mentioned not being known for the pass. Will Randall, he said it to me earlier. He's a pro style kind of guy. Something Madison's not used to, but you know this offense might be able to bring that passing threat you know, kind of into its repertoire. How much for you as a running back, does that kind of maybe make your job a little bit easier knowing, you know, on a third, and, on a second and long, if you don't get all those yards, you got a guy who can kind of air it out and maybe get some yards to oh, your guys on the outside. Yeah, definitely. You know, Will, I, dude, I don't even have words. He can throw that thing. You know, I was out there. I caught a couple from him. You know, we had like a 30, 40. He just threw it. He's got an arm. We're here to throw. A great season last year for the Blue Streaks, eight and three. You, fi you win the... Uh, excuse me, finished second in the Lake Division to a tough D Geneva team. You make it to Week 11 and a loss against Gilmore. There's some high hopes in this small town, like Will said, small town football. There's some high hopes in the air. You know, what are some expectations and some goals for this team? Expectations and goal for, goals for this team? You know, I'd have to say we're going for it all this year, you know. We got our seniors. We're trying to take them. We grew up with all these kids, you know, youth football, whatnot. We want to take them far. I mean, hey, undefeated is always the goal. We just got Perry and Geneva on our minds right now. That's what's up. How much have you seen this team grow from last season to a, a team that really maybe kind of shocked everybody in its first year in the CVC to now this year, second year in the conference? And, you know, there's still a lot of guys returning from last year and some new guys who are kind of filling some roles early on. Hey, it's awesome. We're working. Yeah, a ton of people come in every day. We don't miss. We work. We die. We're gone. All four cylinders. All right, thank you so much.